As many of our owners fly in the mountains, the subject of high-density altitude takeoffs comes up quite a bit. And, and the, the common question is, like, what kind of fuel flow should I have at 8,000 feet on a, on a short field takeoff? And, the, and you can't remember fuel flows for every altitude. It's, you just can't do it. So what I found is the EGT is the primary instrument for power in that case. And what I'll do is when I'm coming into a, a high altitude airport, I'll go ahead and kind of rough lean, you know, in the pattern and on the ground to kind of see where I need to be to, to have the engine run smooth. On takeoff, I'll kind of get it back in that same area. I'll rough lean it to where I think it's going to be. I'll have the cylinder, the engine analyzer on the hottest cylinder so I know what's going on there. And then the big thing is, is when I apply power for takeoff, as soon as I come in with full power, before I've got much speed, I glance over at the EGT. And the EGT, to give you best power at a high density altitude takeoff, needs to be in the mid 1200s to low 1300 range. That gives you enough extra fuel to help cool the motor, but it's not feeding it so much fuel you're losing power. So, I mean, look over, and I don't look for an exact figure because you don't have time. I mean, if it's in the mid high 12s, low 13s, I'm fine. But the thing is, if I look over there, early in the takeoff roll, and I see the, the EGT at 1050, I know I'm way too rich, and I'm losing power because of it. So I just do a rough lean, get it back in the 12s, low 13s, and I'm good. Likewise, if I look over at that EGT and I see it at like 1450, I know it's going to be too too lean. So consequently, that's going to in turn give me problems with, with, engine, with the engine heating up as I climb out. So the big thing here is, is use the EGT as the primary monitor for mixture and remember that it needs to be in the mid 12s to low 13s to give you that best power. Now it's the same way in climb. Uh, if I'm at 10,000 feet going to 13,000 feet, I'll go ahead, if you're lean a peak, go back to rich a peak. And here again, I'm looking at my EGTs. And if the EGTs are in the mid 12s to low 13s in the climb, I know I'm getting enough extra fuel to help cool the motor, but I'm not getting so much I'm losing power. So it's very simple if you just understand the EGT, where it needs to be in terms of leaning for takeoff and climb. And once you do that, you won't have any problems.